Detective Lieutenant Elliot, and this is Trooper Wagner. We just want to ask a few questions. We understand the night of his demise, the family have gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. How was it? The party? Pre my dad's death? That oh, was great. Hey guys, review of uh, Ryan Johnson's new murder mystery film, Knives Out. Not not my favorite movie. Um, I, it was fine. Acting was good. Tony Collette, uh, Sam Smith. Uh, yeah, Sam Smith was in it. Um, yeah, there was a little boy. A couple dogs, they did well. Anyways, um, plot was, it moved slowly at first and then quickly at second, but it wasn't, wasn't a classic murder mystery. Um, and that's what I wanted. The best murder mystery of all time is the movie Clue. Um, and this movie was not, was no Clue. It had no clue how to be like a clue. Uh, skip to, to 9.05 if you want no spoilers to get my final, my final thoughts. Um, so first of all, uh, the characters, uh, they're played by actors. And the actors, I've seen them in other movies, so when so when I see their faces, I think of other other characters, and I just think it would have been nice if they used um, people who had never been in a movie before, because then I don't have, fresh fresh slate tabula rasa. Um, so I had a little bit of a problem with uh, Daniel Craig, uh, because James Bond doesn't have a southern accent. In uh, Skyfall, directed by um, Norman Reedus. Um, so, and then also Tony Collette. Uh, she was in Hereditary. Uh, she played um, the Hermit Crab in that film, and it's hard seeing her without her shell on. Uh, second thing, the plot, the pacing was very weird. Um, it starts off with lots of talking heads and flashbacks and also like text they put text on the screen to tell you the characters names even though they're being said out loud and reading should never be part of a movie uh, that assumes sort of that people attending the film want to read which is not what I attend films for generally, even if it is one name, just say it out loud. Um, and yeah, the whole movie was about knives. It's called Knives Out, and there was a lot of knives in the movie. Believe it, believe it or not, if you haven't seen the movie, um, there's a wall of knives in a circular shape. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. And they don't come into play. Once. Once it comes into play. But there's so many knives. And uh, Chekhov once said, if you have 100 knives, you have to use at least two-thirds of them. Or else, what's the point? So, um, I had a problem with the knives. Uh, there were uh, dogs in the film, but they didn't maul a single person. They provided very little to the plot. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis was in the film. I've seen her in the film Freaky Friday. Uh, and I thought she did a good job of performing. Um, but not good enough. Ryan Johnson directed Star Wars. Episode 1, Episode 3, Episode 5, and Episode 7 interesting how it's the odd ones the weird movies that he directs this one wasn't weird this was too normal for me it took place not in space but in in a space a home a mansion if you will 
Um, uh, and it had many, many rooms and it looked very big, but I feel like we only spent time in three of the rooms and I feel like they could have explored the house more as a character. Um, by introducing some supernatural elements to the movie, but it was mostly medical, um, based horror. Uh, so the main, the main plot involves, and you've seen it already because you haven't skipped to 905, um, the main plot involves, uh, a murder, the murder, um, and it's revealed, uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Pretty quickly, if you use your brain. A little later, if you use your heart and follow the plot. Um, it's revealed that the nurse, the main character, um, whose name... I don't remember any of the characters' names. And they put the names on the screen, and I read them. But I don't remember. <sighs> so, she accidentally killed the man with morphine. Um, the drug. That was sad because medical medical deaths are sadder than most. But but then it turns out um what's his name? Uh Human Torch. The Human Torch was there and he wore a sweater for half the movie and everyone loves his sweater. Um and there was a little boy and he was a Nazi. There were a lot of jokes about him being a Nazi, but no consequences for him being a Nazi. Um, and then I had to go to the washroom, and apparently there was a car chase because the, uh, the character in the movie when it came back from the washroom said that w that was the worst car chase ever uh so i have to hi i have to believe that um and then Chris Evans' character commits arson at one point in the in the film, um, which I thought it was going to be a murder film, not an arson film. So uh, there was a lot of sort of criminality happening, and I wasn't necessarily prepared because I uh, I search related movies for this film, and Clue came up, and I've seen that film, and the um, best uh, to be honest, one of the one of the best films ever made. Uh, Tom Tom Ford, um, Tim. Tom Hiddleston, uh, Zash Baron Cohen's in that one, um, and honestly, just the cinematography in that film out outweighs any film I've ever seen. And then the end of the movie, everyone looks up at at the nurse, and she uh, she's holding her mug, and it says "My house, my rules, my coffee." But her hands are covering the "my rules" and "my coffee." So you just see the mug that she's holding and it says my house because it's her house. And I thought that was really powerful and that was a really power powerful symbolism. So that left me with a really, really delicious taste in my mouth. And I was riding that high until, until I left the theater. And then I realized it wasn't great. Uh, so now we've exited sort of spoiler territory and I just wanted to give my um, sort of final overview of the film. Uh, lots of actors. Uh, very few places. There's maybe five indoor shots, if you count the entire mansion as an indoor shot, which I do. Um, Ryan Johnson didn't make a single cameo in the movie, as far as I'm aware. I haven't seen a picture of him, but I thought, I think I would recognize a man, uh, in his own work. Um, so don't, don't, don't be watching too, too closely for that because I, I doubt it happens. I didn't stay after the credits, so maybe there was a 
post credit scene showing sort of what's going to happen next in the Ryan Johnson um, cinematic, cinematic universe. Um, but um, jo I, don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Um, anyways, uh, go see this movie. Uh, I give it a, a, an 8 out of 8. I'm getting questions from the audience, um, from the comment section. Uh, comment down below if you want me to answer some questions. Um, I'm asking if it subverted my expectations, it did. Like and subscribe.